All right, out here and Santa's laying down on the job. I normally don't have my coat. I just have my pajamas on when I come out, but it's only 22 degrees here, so I, I did have to get my coat on. I had to get it out of the out of the closet. <laughs> so yeah, this is I do this every single morning. I try to come out the front because that's where the house faces east, so I can get the best sunlight. Um, but if I if I just don't want to step out the front door because you know it's trafficy or whatever, or people driving by, I will step out the back. I do try to do that absolutely first thing if I can. Um, but this morning I couldn't. I did have to go ahead and get ready and get dressed. Kind of mess, messy back there. So I try to get morning sunlight on my eyes as soon as I can. I definitely try very hard every single day not to look at my phone or screen until I've been out in natural sunlight with the cats. Um, so that's something I do work really hard on, not looking at my phone before you know I've been outside. I eat breakfast. Never wanted to eat breakfast in the past. You know, I was always very, oh, I'm not hungry. And I still don't wake up. I Probably 50% of the time do I wake up hungry. But that has changed over the last six months to where now, um, you know, I don't want to fast in the morning. So I eat breakfast, which is usually three to five eggs and protein coffee. I use the Equip Prime Protein Unflavored most days 90 percent of the time i try to get about at least 30 grams of protein in the morning i'm going to work this morning so um, i really bulk up in the morning so i'm going to have about it's going to end up being about 50 with my protein coffee and i did no that's not true i only had three eggs but anyway so um i'll get home and i'll eat and i'm able to eat more at one time and that is something that i have noticed before I could not eat very much at one sitting. I just always felt, you know, like I was really pushing it and miserable. So, and I didn't want to do that. So now though, that I eat three times a day, I don't really snack that much, but I eat three meals a day. That helps with getting my hunger cues and all that kind of reworked. I do different types of cold therapy. I do go out you know, in short sleeves if it's really cold. I didn't this morning, but I try to do that. We sleep with the house, you know, really cold. Um, 66 is about the most that the other people in the family can tolerate. <laughs> I would do 65, you know. I don't know, it doesn't get really, really cold here. Like today it's 22 degrees and that's cold. That's very cold for, you know, consistently for here. So. Um, cold therapy, morning sunlight as soon as I can, eating breakfast and trying to get about 30 grams of protein. I choose to, I do carnivores, so I eat eggs and butter and I get, you know, I get a lot of um, fat. I do about 75, 25. I don't do really high fat for the majority of the time. I do try to see the sunset. That helps with circadian rhythm. I do wear blue blockers. I think they're just under $40 and I do clip, throw the clip-ons, but Dale has the actual glasses. And I think they were 35. I might have that backwards. These are the things that I learned about this year to re that really just pushed my health and really improved my health the most. Um, and they're all free things. I did a lot of research and I learned about intermittent fasting, which for me, that's just not snacking. Something that really helped me and was something that I learned about in the very beginning of when I was trying to lose weight was in September of 2022, I started searching on YouTube for intermittent fasting. I had seen a video, Autumn Bates, and if you type intermittent fasting into YouTube, one of her videos will probably pop up. She's a great source of information when it comes to, especially when it comes to intermittent fasting and how powerful that can be. She explains it and her information is science backed. I really enjoy her channel. I slowly started to try my hand at intermittent fasting and it worked really well for me. 
I didn't really put it into full effect until January of 2023. I don't snack. I eat. I get enough nutrients and calories and I'm satiated well enough with three meals a day. Sometimes I'll do two meals, but I do eat early. I like to be done eating. My I like my fasting window to be done, you know, by five or six. I don't eat late. It just kind of messes with my sleep and I like my sleep and it's, I'm at a good spot with my sleep. So the thing that I learned about this year and I probably didn't learn really didn't learn about this until like August was getting up in the morning trying to get sunlight as the first light on your eyes so I get up I don't I try not to turn the lights on and I go outside I usually try to go out the front door because my house faces a little bit more east faces the Sun so I can look in the tree line and see the sunrise I naturally wake up right before sunrise um, I've tried to sleep in and I usually can't and I get sleepy early in the evening because I wear, that's another thing I do, I wear blue blockers and the brand I use are Spectra 479, I think. Um, but they're, you know, they're under, they're under $40. Mine are clip-ons and I try to do that at least about an hour before bed. If I'm going to read on my e-reader, I will put my blue blockers on. But I do notice that if I put them on after sunset here, it gets dark, you know, before, before even 5 p.m. because I'm on central time. I will get sleepy really early. Like I will get, I will be a sleepy, very sleepy while I'm, you know, I'm, if I'm watching a show, I will be sleepy by 8, 8.30 and I will be like, uh, I'm ready for bed. So I do play with that. Like if I have an evening Zoom call, I will, you know, I will push that back. Um, and I won't I might wear them on my zoom call or I might not in the morning after I get sunlight I make my breakfast Some days I'm really hungry when I wake up and other days I don't feel as hungry as soon as I wake up and it's after I've been up for about 20 to 25 minutes I eat breakfast and what I eat are eggs I'll, I'm right now I'm eating a lot of fried eggs between five and six fried eggs and lots of butter and I eat those before I have my coffee. I my coffee, I make it with butter and salt. And occasionally, like this morning, I also added a scoop of Equip Prime protein that's unflavored. I really wanted to boost up my protein in the morning. I really like being having a big meal in the morning um, because, like I said, I like to be done eating around five or six. Six really at the latest, six thirty most days going forward my focus is going to be on strength just being strong because like I said I'm you know I'm pre-menopause but it's coming it's going to happen any minute so it's going to start you know and, and you know there's a lot of information out there right now about strength longevity menopause a lot of videos happening right now um, about those those topics and how really you know menopause pre-menopause starts you know in your 30s or that's when your muscle and bone density that those kinds of changes start because your estrogen levels are lower and lower you know getting lower and so at 48 you know mine are a little lower I don't have a lot of problems with my hormones anymore um, in around in the spring I was having some hormonal problems and my progesterone and my testosterone were a little bit um, skewed or they weren't at their optimal level but now they're much better the only reason i knew to check for those was because i was having some hot temperature regulation issues i wasn't having hot flashes and sometimes i still am having getting flushed but i'm not i don't have hot flashes um but i was waking up in the middle of the night and i have had some times um until about august to that where I've needed help regulating my cortisol. I know my cortisol was really high. Those have really started moving the needle when I was, you know, trying to lose weight. I'm not really trying to lose weight now. I'm trying to feel as good as I can. And I do feel great 95% of the time. 